You have profaned the monument to the old judge? Ah, tis a criminal offence. Tis against the rules. You shall be punished for this affront. Quiet thy thunder and listen, Lucian, for this matter is not what you have imagined it to be. Imagined? Accuse me of wild fancies, will you? Ah, I tire of your defiance. The rules of the old judge are clear. Do not challenge the hierarch. Do not stand taller than the hierarch. Do not play melodies of which the hierarch disapproves. Do not jest in ways which leave the hierarch... Con uh <laughs> the Bologas comes to your homes, everyone! Shelter and hope! Hope it passes us by! Hope Solomon Crane has it doomed us all! Fie! We are not yet ready to fight the unslayable beast. Come, wizard, we can pass this night, or afternoon, as it may well be, in my home. Welcome back to episode 315. Today, we are obviously in the night forest still. Um... We should be safe here for the duration. Once the Malagas passes us by, we can recruit aid in defeating it for good. Why? We have the attunement stone. Should we not return to Telos? Shh, wizard! There is not time for your mysterious communions. I heard a sound from the basement. We must investigate. We go to basement. Very fun, very epic. Um, I wonder what is in basement. Hmm, who knows? Could it be scary things? Most likely. Um, nothing ever good is in a basement. Can we just, like, make that very clear? Nothing that is good is in a basement ever. Basements are the most scariest things for no reason. Something is wrong. Restless. It screams in the endless night and the stars go quiet. It hungers. It calls us from the grave to feed it. Oh, <laughs> tis merely the ghosts of the old town. Fret not, even I can fend off these wretches. Okie dokie, bit. Right, Lima Ghosts, they are rank 18 elite. Rank 19 elite, in fact. Wow, we're really stepping up here, aren't we? We have Solomon Crane. Mm, okay, we're gonna just do it just just to see what it looks like, not because it's actually going to do anything beneficial to us because we don't have any dots, but that's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna see what it looks like because we gotta we gotta show off Solomon Crane here. This is the death spell, by the way. Um, very cool. Very epic. Um, destroys a dot and it will do double damage pretty cool it does a lot of damage if you have death damage that's for sure <laughs> that's for sure so yeah we get one of those for the next couple of fights which is pretty cool and we're stunned wow perfect just my favorite thing my favorite thing anyway uh these guys these guys are kind of cool they they have some stats and and they're like ice as well which is pretty cool so they resist ice and boost on fire obviously obviously um but they have uh 5650 health decent amount of health not gonna lie decent amount we need to pass because we are uh, stunned um but yeah probably know some shields which is a shame and they're gonna shield right now or two ice blades what what even spell is that i don't even know i don't have the wiki page up at the moment so i don't i can't tell you but um that's definitely something that's definitely something that's for sure uh, let's go for a blade into a scarecrow and GG. Hopefully. It will definitely kill the guy that we've already damaged. And we can just ship fools afterwards, so it's fine. It'll be fine, probably. Probably. King Art, okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. What is... Well, I can't even remember what all of the King Arts do. Other than just big damage. Oh, it taunts oh no it gives them a pip that's interesting why do, why does it take so long to get a pip why can't it be like some of the like celestial calendar it doesn't take long at all to get a pip why can't it be like that i don't understand at all do not understand but oh well there we go we found out what ice king art does i don't think i've ever encountered that while questing so far on this character so there we go we just know 
We just know, okay, one guy is still alive. This is so sad. Solomon Crane actually came in clutch there. Oh, they're both still alive. This is so tragic. <laughs> this is so sad. I'm so bad. Oh, well. Frostbite, get out of here. Oh, it's not even Frostbite. It's just natural attack. Want it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, we gotta do this. We can't, we can't single hit because there's two alive somehow. How that works, I don't know. I have no clue at all. No clue. Zero out of ten. Right, crit, and it did. For sure. Definitely did. Definitely did, right? Probably. Maybe. Most likely. Please. Yep, they did. They did. My word, I was quite good there, was I not? Perhaps defending my own home improved my prowess. Or it was all those mana wisps from the font. Or my hand was steadied by righteous resolve. Or the mana wisps. Or those mana wisps we stumbled across. In any event, my senses are keener now than ever. And I hear scuttling. He hear the scuttling. Um, but yeah, this is this is the spell. If you wanted to say it, 420. Destroying one damage over time, dealing two times damage. So no And there it is. Perhaps we don't require aid after all, my friend. I say we settle this monster here and now. I think so too, buddy. So this is Malagas 2, Electric Boogaloo. Same as before, except different. So, yeah. I'm not worried about this one. I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not packing anything differently. And you'll understand in a second. The cheats are the same, except different. Um, yeah, we're going to do this. So basically, the cheats are exactly the same, except he has a new cheat. Um, which is, if a wizard casts a Malagast Faint, um, he will cast an AoE Sacrifice, dealing a thousand damage to all allies, healing an unknown amount to all wizards. So, basically, we want to Malagast Faint him, and he will take all of the damage, and then he will start to die, and it'll be fantastic. And we won't fizzle, because it's a, actually, no, it's a Shadow Spell, which is really sad, but, yeah. So, that is the plan. We're going to cast three Malagast Faint. See what happens, try and kill him, and then we'll hit with a ship of fools. Or a scarecrow, probably a scarecrow. Um, so yeah, that's the plan of this. That's the plan here. This guy is um, more of a fire. And he knows, like, um, fire from above, scorching, scald, brim, um, and also sirens, just to throw that in there, because, you know, that's just a little bit quirky. A little bit quirky and cool. Uh, but yeah, so let's just get this dude to... T take some damage not right now because obviously we were just we were just too good for it so um yeah this is also uh the old sirens as well by the way so it removes blades which is a shame and also minus 45 so yeah rip blade rip blade very sad very sad oh well oh well is fine is fine what i find really strange about that is the ffa only gives one trap the shadow ffa but yet the sirens removes blades and gives a um a mantle like why i swear every single time you have a a mantle and you cast a shadow spell it will always fizzle it's just how it works it's a hundred percent how it works it is painful and terrible painful and terrible and i hate it wants to mash Oh no, just vampire. Okay. I'm like, monster mash? Mm, okay. It's not monster mash though, it's just vampire. Just vampire. Just a boring old vampire. Um, okay, we don't have any Malagas faint. That's so sad. We're going to discard this. We need to get it. <laughs> we need to get him. That's the whole strategy here. I want to do it with this strategy. Just to be cool. But it's like, no, not today. Not going to work out. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to die. It's going to be close. This does a lot of damage. This can do up to like 1,000 base. And he has 120 outgoing damage boost. 24 PS. So, yeah, just a little bit pain. Just a little bit pained. Just a little bit pain. This is why we need the heal from him, you know. It's just very crucial at this point. Um, very, very crucial. We're just going to do this. Just, just for now. Just for now, just to get a little bit of a heal. We could also Solomon Crane as well, which could be kind of funny. Could be kind of cool. But 
We're missing we're missing some Malagast Fain. I swear we're missing some. They're they're meant to be here, but they're not. They are hiding. Very sad. Much upsetty spaghetti. Okay, didn't do much damage. Wasn't meant to do much damage. Simply there just to just to hurt. Just to get some heal. Basically all that is there. Um there we go, Malagast Fain. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. No fizzle this time. Yeah, lovely. Roar. And he does sacrifice. Of 100 trillion million damage. Literally nearly kills himself. Nearly kills the minion, which is even better. And we get a decent amount of heal. Not quite full health, but it definitely will help. Definitely will help. We get another one next as well, which is cool. Which is very cool. Very, very cool. Um, crit. Ouch. Just kidding. I'm actually, I am kind of worried. He does have a faint on me, so. Ouch. He's going to get a lot of health back, which sucks. But it's fine. The strategy is I'm not killing the minion, so it's okay. <laughs> there it is. We need four pips, um, obviously. So we got to wait one round. So we're just going to... I mean, we could just do this. We're going to do that on him because the minion's going to be taken care of. We'll do it on the Malagast just because we can. Why not? Why not? Zero pips. Might as well. Show off Solomon Crane. Get him into... Get him into battle. Kablam. Kablamo. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. Don't know how much it did, but not too bad. And this is probably a FFA. No? Oh, a Scald. Okay. That could do a decent amount of damage. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. That could do a decent amount of damage. Anyway, faint. Faint. This could do a lot. Okay, it's not too bad, actually. I was um making it up. It doesn't do that much damage each round. I'm like, maybe it does like a thousand. It doesn't do a thousand. Right. Get out of here, dude. Why would you give me these cards if you're just going to use them against yourself? I don't understand your logic here. It seems a little bit illogical. But I will not complain. <laughs> this fight is actually really fun because it's just so like... It's, it's like the other fight, but you don't really have to fight this time. We're just going to simply pass... Until we have four pips. The only bad thing about the Malagas faint is it's four pips, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But hey, at least he can kill himself. You know, he's good for something. He may not be able to kill me, but he can kill himself. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. That I don't have to destroy him. He can destroy himself. I don't have to have the guilt of destroying this innocent ghast that is obviously meaning no harm completely. Just the most innocent of evil people ever so yeah that's how it works can you stop ffaing me please i would appreciate it just this once just just cease for five seconds would approve would benefit me significantly in the health department so just just a suggestion one more round one more round and then he will be dead very dead um but yeah the best idea is to put these on him just to get that extra damage from the sacrifice uh obviously because it only does a thousand base so yeah it's best to actually cast it on him so you get the plus 70 as well yeah it takes off the faint but it does a lot of damage so it's pretty decent right there he goes he's dead why won't you die foul demon <laughs> It is fling back into the night forest. After it, wizard. After it. Okie dokie. Um, that was a decent amount of XP from that fight. Whoa, 78. Man, just popping off. Popping off. We're also nearly halfway to level 144. Not too bad. Not too bad. Pursue the Malagast. Where, where is... Alas, it has eluded us once again. And yet, I feel no disappointment. Only an elation that the adventure is not yet over. What can this mean? It means that- I feel energized. More myself than ever before. It is as though I have finally, truly become me. The manor? Yes. I concur it must be responsible for my recent improvement. More than that. The old one mentioned he used Stallion Quartermain as a template. 
wove him into the fabric of Lemuria itself. To create his heroes, to create his scions, to create his version of you, wizard. For now, though, we must inform Lucian and the villagers the danger has passed. Then we will find out how to destroy the Malagast. Lucian's not going to like this. So, uh, the immediate threat is over. Good. Then I can bolster our resilience to future harassment by expelling criminality. Solomon Crane, I hereby banish you from this village and from the nice forest. Be gone! I find offensive your demeanor, attire, and uh, odor. And to offend the senses of the hierarch is the greatest of crimes. Very well. But when I return with the Malagast's head, I expect a profuse apology. Wouldn't that be something to see? I believe in Solomon Crane, honestly. It seems our task has only grown more difficult. But we must think like the Malagast. Where would it go? Or do? Or want? Or, for that matter, what even is it? You've fought it twice now, and we still do not know anything about its origins. Twas once a legend only, several in fact, contradictory tales lost amidst the divisions of the lemurs. But mayhap those still steeped in fables and arcana have secrets to lend us. We must seek out the Kulakamba tribes in the wildlands. I say, good sirs, lend me thine ears. I have much to ask you in precious little time. Could one of you not stop your pacing for but a moment? Hello? Anyone? Perhaps this calls for a louder voice. Just march up to the Kula Kamba and demand their attention. Ah, uh, yes, because that is the perfect way to do this. Let's quickly do this. Since it's just one, we will do this right now. Right here, right now. We'll go real fast. And yeah, if it was a defeating collect, I probably would have skipped it. But since it is just one, we will do this. We have defeated these guys quite a few times already. Um, they just fire. They're not too bad. They do smoke screen and stuff and stun and pain and suffering. And I hate them. But, you know, sometimes you got to fight the things you hate in order to succeed. Yep, that's definitely how it works. Um, unfortunately, didn't get a scarecrow. We will blade again. Hopefully this will go through. It does, because I am the best death wizard ever. Ever. Uh, so yeah, that's good. This is not another smoke screen, please. Thank you. This is not another smoke screen either, please. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, sir. Mr. Kulakamba Warrior, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You did good. You did good, kid. Um, boom. They did. Easy clap. Easy clap. Very fast. Very good. Very cool. Crit and two blades. Boom. Boom. And kablam. Bye. Answer me. Answer me. Listen to me. I demand attention. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you just want to talk. Uh, we thought you were attacking. You should speak up more. Well, come on then. Hello. The Malagast lives again? Oh, oh man, that's not good. Uh, I'm feeling a universal contingency coming on here. Do not panic, friend. Simply tell us what you know of this Malagast. Uh, Malagast is just what we called it. Not sure where the name came from. Just one of those words whispered through the ages. But generations ago, it emerged from the ground and tore through the wilds. It took all of our strongest warriors to stop it. How, man? How did they accomplish this? Got me. <laughs> but I know who could find out. The Doctor Witch. If you want to stop the Malagast, you must let her in. I see. Thank you, friend. Come, wizard. I know what we must do. The Doctor Witch is a dreadful thing, wizard. It is said wherever she goes, sickness and poverty follow. It is for that reason we have built these Apple Watchmen to keep her away. But now you must remove these wards so that we may call the Doctor Witch to tell us what to do. 
Okie dokie, I guess we gotta remove the... I will grant these make unusual wards, but the Doctor Witch reputedly detests apples. We maintain the Watchmen each day to ensure she is kept away. An apple a day keeps the Doctor away. Right. Makes sense, honestly. On paper, makes sense. Makes complete sense, so... Yeah, it's Again, so we continue on this path to find the Molagost. But this won't help us reach the world synthesizer. So why do you bother? To help other things. This is good? Where before what I did to the old one was bad, was evil, was incorrect behavior, which causes guilt. Does enough good negate the bad? Does it make the guilt go away? Or am I indelibly stained by what I have done? Apologies. Continue on. Do good, wizard. The more inconvenient, the gooder it is, yes? I love how Solomon Crane was just standing there. I, I really wonder what they must think when we just like talking to things constantly. Ooh, the apples are gone. Smells like sickness. Smells like bills. Bills. Oh no. Dr. Abigail B. Witch at your service. Though you don't seem ill. Your friend, however, clear cases of the blotch, the roombas, and the blurps. Enough of thine quackery. We know you are a purveyor of maladies and ills. I am a purveyor of diagnoses and bills. It is hardly my fault you all live sickly lives. Now what do you wish? Ah, case of Malagust, eh? The technical term is actually manivore. Dreadful creatures, very rare, drawn to mana wisps and wonder. And then they eat them both. Whatever would have brought one to such a wispless and wanderless place as this? Hmm, easy enough to find out. With a few ingredients. <laughs> you, the non-blurpy blotchy one, bring me the fallen specks of wisps and some skin flakes from the white rhinos. Okie dokie, um, we'll collect some of these and then we're going to finish off because... I need I rhino specs and wisp flakes. I need rhino specs and wisp flakes. Or something <laughs> like that. Go, go! I charge by the millisecond. <laughs> she charges by the millisecond? What? Okay, um, that's not good. Uh, I'm going to finish off here, though, for today. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, feel free to leave a like if you want to. Leave a dislike, because then no one would know that you disliked it except me, and it would make me feel so much happier, obviously. Um... But yeah, otherwise, thank you for watching, and next time we'll come back with all of these rhinos defeated. But as always, remember to craft outside the box.